Greetings everyone and welcome to the another Dream Town tour. We are now having a dream in a sleepy town called Honey. Uh, I picked this up on Tumblr, so this is your town. I will do it as much justice as I can as we tour through the village. Now, let's see. Obviously there's been some hacking done here, but that's perfectly fine. So let's check out who is here. So we have Haru. Rosie and Mona as our player character homes. We also have Maple, Cherry, Peiko, June, Stitches, Chester, Marty, Poncho, Vladimir, and Olive. And it looks like we're in the middle of the village right now. So let me just put my stylus back into 3DS. There we go. And let's check out what we got here. So we have the flowers. We have a nice rock we can sit on right under the tree. That looks awesome. Let's see. The bush. A lot of pink. Okay, so yellow rain boots. And lemon gingham tea. Explorer pants. Ooh. Lemon umbrella. Bandage. Alright, let's see what our character... How we're appearing in our dreamlike trance. As we make our way, we are very yellow. Very, very yellow. A little too yellow, but that's okay. In this dream, we are to be yellow. Or are we? Yellow raincoat, straw boater. Celeste Ribbon, My Melody Shoes, Lemon Pack, Petal Parasol. Um, you know what, actually? Oh no. Okay, we'll keep this. So, it's clearly within the first week of April where we have, you know, the cherry blossoms flying through the air, which is awesome. It is one of my favorite times of the year in Animal Crossing. Uh, let's see. Okay, you can explore more of that. So let's go down. <gasps> it's a harmoniously themed town. Peiko. Yes, I am. But I'm feeling strangely groggy today. I hope, I sure hope you have fun visiting Honey. I shall. So, let's see. So Peiko lives there. And... This is June's house. Lots of hacking. And let's see. So I guess it's everyone with a more zen themed home, but also that fits the pink and yellow motif. With earth egg, because it's yellow. Alright, and who's over here? Sherry's house. She's kind of pink, I guess. I perceive her. Peiko. Okay, obviously she was right there. So let's see. I like the way the town is set up because the way the river flows, it makes a U shape. <clears throat> this is the middle of the U. So we'll stay on this side of the river, the north side for now. And we'll just work our way up and around. Let's see. Or can we? It's a beaten path kind of town. Okay, so you just can only, we'll stay on the path for now. Zen Bell, bong. This is a very very tranquil town, to be honest. For okay, so oh, they moved the sign. So let's see where the signboard might show up in our town, and within our dream. Ooh, in the log right by the river. This is very nice to Let's see. Let me come over here. Peach's parasol and a melon umbrella. There we go. Green. <laughs> hmm. I do like that the cedar is mixed in. Like the cedar trees are mixed in with the bamboo and the pink. Like, I think the light pink 
of these of you know the cherry blossom trees which it used to be just limited to cherries by the way um because that makes sense and the darker green from the cedar i think they like really make each other pop nicely and i've been wanting to put in my town more pink and yellow flowers just to fit the theme that i'm going for um but more on that at a later time we're talking about honey today so we got this nice very nice fountain got retail another water fountain which I really like the fountain in front of retail it just makes them seem like a more well-to-do shop and they do make I mean they give you more money than you really give to them but you know with all the customizations that you could do I'm sure they do very well all right so we're making our way oh look at what's on the beach Will we get yes we will have an opportunity to go on the beach and we'll come full circle around to the other village within the vill oh okay gotta stay on that beaten path oh wait was this oh this is the town hall a very pink town hall all right we still haven't come up to oh someone didn't find their fossil that day oh they're advertising that they do have a tumbler but I'm not sure what that tumbler is because I forgot. Sorry for not shouting it out though. All right, let's check a, a little bit out. What's, ooh. Birthday cake. Nana. Hmm. What did I just pick up? I picked up a honeybee. It's very nice. Lollipop. Hmm. So the lollipop can only be eaten straight away. Nom 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 nom. Nom. Oh. And I guess I'll eat the banana too just to, you know, balance things out. Alright. So we'll go over this way just for a moment. Didn't I see the other way up was around here? Yes, there it was, okay. And this takes us up to one of our player character. Oh, they're right by the windmill. That's very nice. All right, so now we're gonna go into, oh, 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 oh who is this? Oh, well then. I wonder what that means we'll find inside Rosie's house. Let us see. A very pink and yellow house. Ooh, but it's so white on the inside. Wait, this is kind of an unusual room. Like, ooh, what item is this? I want that. But, it's kind of weird that you walk right into the bathroom, or rather the washroom, I guess. Hmm. Nada. So honey's still in progress, I'm going to assume. Or they expand it and had nothing in particular that they were going to put in there, who knows. I'll check over here, if there's nothing in here, then we'll just move on. Unless these side rooms are changing rooms and then you come back out into the bath house. All right, we'll move on to the next one. We can just consider this a work in progress. Maybe I'll come back to Honey at a later time. All right, so we're not gonna go upstairs. We're just gonna assume that only the main room is complete. All right, so let's get going. Oh, 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 gotta go on the main path. So we're dreaming of Honey. Okay, here's the signboard. And there's the Dreamtown address. And then this is Haru's house. Oh, there's Haru. I was kind of expecting a boy, but... Oh, okay. If you want to go on to Instagram and check out T Leafy, go right ahead. Throwing out, you know, their social media. Okay. 
Now let's see what Haru has going on inside Haru's house. Ooh. I don't, I do and I don't like that this is right here, but it gets a pass because it is the uh, Kodamatsu, I believe it's called, that I like. Kodomatsu. Anyway, and the Halloween. I like it. It's a little tight. I don't want to say that it's cozy because, you know. But I like that the side room is blocked off. What, what boots are these? Are they the, like hero boots? Or are they steel toe? I don't. Or are they the sandal? I don't know. I want them though, whatever they are. They look neat. Ah, who am I kidding? I stick to my green sneakers. Just like I do in real life. Alright, what what is this? Is that actually how the lilies, I think they are, appear in the house when you put them out? That's really nice. Gives me some ideas. And once again, you can't go into this room, so we'll check out... We'll check out upstairs real quick. All right. Okay, it's a small. It is a small bedroom, but it's nice. It sounds very quaint. Look at the sloppy lamp. All right, let's move on. We'll check out some more of the very soothing scenery of honey. You know, coming into this town, I almost thought I was going to be in more of a bumblebee outfit. The Zen lamp. <sighs> now, the color pink does have a, an effect on you that will make you feel sleepy if you stare at it long enough. Or at least that's what they told me when I was taking art classes in high school. So let's... Okay, so whose house is this? Let's see. Who be you? Okay, this is Mona, so let's see if Mona just lives in a tent. Okay, she's got some stuff going on in here. Not necessarily, you know, anything. She's got some an ant colony. She's got a, she's got a grasshopper. Grasshoppers are good. And um, sort of like my setup in my basement. Where I make it seem like I'm editing videos in my Animal Crossing basement. If you've seen those that series that I did. I kinda consider buying another game card so that this way I could do a fresh start series, but I don't know. I don't know. Alright. We're gonna come up to the village soon. So here's Brewster's. Here's the village. Yes, I'm yawning again. All right, so let's see. This is Vladimir. Olive. Ooh, this one's Chester's house. Let's see how Chester reacts to us because he's in our dream world too. <laughs> Which is really always fun when the animals notice that they are in your dream world. Chester, what are you wearing? That is not a green shirt. Uh -huh -huh. Surprised to see me? Maybe it's full of crazy twists, huh? Sweet. Um, Chester, when when we wake up, we'll discuss the pol. You know, Verdania has a dress code, and you're not following it. You had to wear one of the one of the main colors, which is green. Unless you are green, then you had to wear orange or gray. Yes, there is a Verdanian dress code. I'm in someone else's dream, so therefore I'm just their character in this dream. Okay, so let's move on. Semantics. But you'll notice I have a green accessory. That was very fortunate. All right. <laughs> Stitches house. Stitches was actually in my town at one point. So this area right here, I've been looking at on the map, and I wanted to check it out. We finally are going to make our way over to it. This dock right here where there is the golden rod. Will I walk off? I go to, okay, there is something there to keep me from going any further. 
Nope. Okay. So, what's this? Another honeybee. I wonder if I was supposed to be collecting them for any particular reason. Alright, let's... Ooh, there I go yawning again. <laughs> so let's, um... Ooh. That is a very big shadow. That is a very big shadow. Let's see if I can't get a big fish in this little dream. Run, run, run. I can run in a dream town because it doesn't change anything for the actual user or creator. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see if we can't catch it. <coughs> Come on, fish. Mmm. That's not what I wanted. Here we go. Let's see what we get. <coughs> cool. It's just a dream though. Yeah, so it doesn't count towards your Oh, there's Poncho. Let's talk to Poncho. Nope. Okay. Oh, I see everyone's wearing pink. Pink and white. There we go. So, we'll just follow the path. Oh, wait. What's this? Oh, okay. It's the uh, bug tourney tent. Can we go in? Let's see. What goes on when we go into here? Oh, nothing really goes on, but you're in here. Is that the golden net? It is. It is. So. Let's make our way back to Taper Lady. Oops. We're just a little lost. All right, everyone. We've come full circle. I didn't notice there was money here before. Okay. We've now come full circle. I hope everyone enjoyed dreaming of honey with me. Uh, make sure to hit the links below to follow me on social media. Make sure to give this video a like. And if you wish to visit honey, the dream address for honey is right there. 5C0000A982. B and 4. And if you like this video, make sure to check out my other Animal Crossing videos in the right hand column. Or you can just head over to my channel and check out the Animal Crossing playlist that I have available on the main page. And so thank you so much for watching. And as always, I appreciate your support on Patreon. So until next time, later taters.